this is a video on list plus files in scratch 1.2.1 modification made in early 2008 actually the mod is made <laughs> making my some facts may be irre irrelevant like this is the first mod like that and all kind of facts and also this is made by Jens morning as you can see he's a old ex scratch member or you can say a former scratch member it's the more appropriate word so it's possible to be linked to the introduction of lists in the scratch and as well as some li links to ch cheap cheap if you don't know that it's a mod made by algins and also biob as well so you can check my scratch 1.2.1 video or the biob video if you or the chip video if you need so let's get into it without further ado we're going to be looking at the changes only as usual i'm just saying it again because i have not been uploading for two weeks that's why so next task we got an about thing which mentions about who r who r wrote it and all of course i we know most of the information or you can just use the useful import feature useful for combining two projects together as one so other than that i don't spot any difference in this other interfaces over here so let's just look into the block palette now in most of these things there's no change i guess here also no changes there so let's get in the variables so as we are now in block palette and in variables category let's just check it out in variables mostly there are no differences actually i'm going to a little bit get confused in this part i think so because i don't remember if you're having a feature like this it's creating its own instance own instance of blocks for each variable you create i think it's existed in 1.2 i don't remember it that's the reason because it's had it, ha it has been like two months since i uploaded the video or something and yeah but we're going to create a list there is a major change here yeah so we have created a list let's just delete this variable things because they're so annoying occupying some space so list usually in the olden time i think so it doesn't it doesn't have the ability to add text to it it's not like a olden time it's more like a modification rather than i could say like older time maybe some code could be based on this as well i don't know possibly like we cannot type any text over here but we can type numbers over here into the list so i'm adding 20 20 is the first number then let me choose a random number there 56 is the second second number there and then list at one let's store into one variable called my where let me just set to the variable to the my list at six one of course it's storing my first value which is 20 the second value is 56 you can see it has a storage system the size of it is three. Oh, i added one more number i didn't notice that okay i guess maybe i clicked that two times and also what is the min you can see it's 20 in max you can check that 56 okay let me just add something in between like 26 35 you can check the max there 56 or you can check the sum of all the list as it's usually only for numbers so i can't say anything about that you can call it as a number list which is a very funny name but i don't know if you will add it in the title or something also there are extra blocks you can remove the my list at one okay these things are obsolete i guess okay, clear my list you can add my list to yourself and do a bunch of stuffs that i didn't expect and yeah you can write some files into your computer for storing lists i think this is also a prototype but i don't know if it'll work i think i guess it'll work but i don't know my list at one my list includes zero okay let me just store some true false value i forgot if you can store true false value of course you cannot as you can see you can't store some strings or any other values into the variable so i cannot show what's going on here but it's a very cool feature as you can see we are, we are able to store numbers into it using the add my list actually only basic blocks work very perfectly other things may be having some kind of bugs even though i'm very curious to test this out things these things out okay it's working i want to just delete this list so that i won't get and make another list 
actually I cannot see what's going on so it makes complication for kids and all I guess even for adults oh sorry for the array word but I don't care I'm gonna use that only <laughs> it's a very fancy word right I guess and set my variable at 1 to 0 ok you can set the particular position you want like if you can if you want you can set 2 to position number 2 to a particular I don't know number no, no string is not allowed so I'm setting 2 to 45 and it's quite of kind of overwhelming but yeah let's just check that let's set my this thing to this thing my array at 1 is 0 because we created a new thing ok you can see it's 45 as it's showing I stored it into a particular position and retrieved it I guess it's a cool array list system only for numbers and strings were not allowed even in variables itself in the older, older times so why why should the list contain this strings as well maybe if they were to add variables to st string categories or any category you can input into it then it would be cool but it's of course the restriction of 1.2.1 that made this to turn out like that but yeah it's a very cool version to check out of course do you want to know if more about where I got this from of course it's from a archive scratch archive just an image file 